Hey guys, so today we're gonna do a shorter video and just I'm gonna show you how you remove your green screen. I mean, how I do it all the time, right? So it's really easy. So you can put your avatar in what kind of backdrop you want. And it can be real life photos and can, it can be just something you create or it can be something from Second Life, but you just don't want to pose your avatar there. You want to bring it in the picture, like maybe the seams where you cannot rest poses and you really like the seam and you want to have it in the backdrop. So today I'm not going to overcomplicate it, but I just chose this picture where I'm going to put my avatar. We're not going to go into editing, um, but just going to do like a green screen removal because why not right so um if we go on the side right um here you're gonna have your um what are these options what to do with your picture right you have different ones but today we're gonna use this eyedropper tool because you'll see why we're gonna use the brush tool um and there at eraser tools tools you have background eraser tool i'm using uh, 2020 photoshop so if you didn't upgrade it just, just check if you have these options right uh, you can use background eraser tool but i always just use magic eraser tool i'm gonna show you the difference because backdrop eraser tool right it's gonna be um if you check the sizing of wait let me there see it's gonna sample the black uh well the green backdrop right and then erase the green like this you can make it of course bigger and then you're gonna erase bigger traces but for magic eraser tool you just sample the green and they will remove all the green around which is practically easier so if you do have the magic eraser tool use that one right uh, now we're left with the greens around the arm, so just go closer so it's control and uh, scroll your mouse, right? And just remove those greens. Now I would suggest the, just that you go a lot closer and just remove the big patches of green like this, right? Uh, where you can, of course, you can go a lot closer because we, we will color this hair uh gray but if you can like you can remove some of the patches still right so if you go really close you can still remove some of the green patches like this right um so yeah usually see it's not that noticeable then later but i would just suggest like remove something like this this will be fine then in the picture also remove like whatever it's too green right like something like here the more you do that, the more you will find what is better to remove, right? There, I'm there. I don't want too many strands here. This we can still remove. Uh, then I have some, uh, like, this is like a strap going on here. So I'll remove inside there. It's a little work around the hair, but it's not that bad. And I will show you how to get the green around your hair out, right? there and here i see a lot of green so i'm just gonna go closer so this is the magic eraser tool like something like this and here still a little there hmm. also up top of the head i think it's too much let's go as close as you want to go right it's there maybe this green is too much here there on top of the head will be fine and here is some green that i can still remove there if you click it wrong just control z and go back because sometimes you misclick it and you'll do this right so just control z get it back right okay so this is it i think i'm happy with this one so now i'm going to tell you how to remove the green around your hair so just open a new layer there is this plus down here that you click uh you create a clipping mask so right click here and create a clipping mask on your lower layer so everything will be drawing now i can show you with um, there if we go like this see it's only draw even if you press it there it's only gonna draw on your layer because you did that you created a clipping mask over your layer right Okay, there, let's just go back. We don't want those stripes. So now we'll color color the hair. Uh, so just go to your um, brush tool, choose a brush. I usually just go with this blending one, uh, choose the sizing like this could be enough or maybe a little bit bigger. 
uh, and just sample the darkest color of your hair are going to go with this gray here. Also, I can do it like this there gray here. Okay, so we have this color chosen and now just choose uh, the color when you go here to the um, oh, well, how the color is perceived, just choose color down here, not luminosity, but choose color. I don't know what these are called where you have your opacity and stuff, right? So just color over it there. See? Now you color all the green out. You can go closer here and make your brush smaller, right? Also to make a brush smaller and think you go. Oh, there is some kind of shortcut which I don't use. Well, you will color a little of your sides. You can also do that later on. Doesn't matter. But yeah, you see, you do have some greens left, so just be careful. Just color over the greens, right? Something like this. And just go around your avatar. Uh, we'll choose now, we said dark gray, because that, that is the best one, right? And just color your avatar. You can make it the brush bigger. It's not that bad, right? So just go over your avatar, color your greens out there. And that's it. Voila, there. You cannot even notice the green anymore, right? So just choose the, le well, the color option in here, right? See, if you're going to move it to anything else, exclusion is kind of fun, but I, I, I think the color one is the best, right? Because you're really going to color all the green out and it's not going to be even noticeable, right? So just go over it. There we go. So yeah, no green in your hair anymore there. Uh, and down here, there we go. I think I did it all. Also down here, of course, we're still your hair. Usually the hair is the problem, right? So we're doing only hair there. You cannot even notice it was ever green here, right? There. Just check if you have everything. There we go. I think there was a green. Oh, and we can still remove this. If you just go closer to the picture and you will find where the problematic areas are, right? Sample the green color, of course. Oh, magic eraser tool, what you doing? Well, then let's go uh, background eraser tool. This one didn't want to listen to me. Ah, because I'm on, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm on a layer. Um, let's go down here. Something always check on which layer you're doing stuff, right? I was now on the clipping layer, so there. Okay, I think we have everything now. Now you can just merge together, right? Merge the visible ones in there. There's no green anymore anywhere on your hair. No green backdrop, so just copy an image, uh, Control A to uh, select it all, Control C to copy it and copy it to the backdrop where you want it. See? Easy. Now you'll have a... Oh, look. And then you'll see that you forgot something, which I didn't even see. So let's go back and just erase this thing too. Uh, yeah, magic eraser will do here. There we go. Sometimes you just ch see it in the background. If you want this to check already, make a new layer and just color the new layer black, right? So here you have the bucket tool, right? Choose a black option. Yeah, okay, there. Color it and then put the picture behind it and you'll really see if there's something green left, right? In the back, black backdrop. So, okay, we have it now. Nothing, I don't see anything green. So again, control alt to copy, control, control alt to select it all, control C to copy and put it in on the new backdrop, right? There, I can delete this one and paste control V to paste the new one. There we go, nothing green anymore. You can adjust this how you like. Um, you can make your avatar glow. You can put some shadows behind it. I don't know if you want to look more realistic and stuff like that. You know, I usually, sometimes I do it for thumbnails. So yeah, that's all it takes. Well, guys, thank you for watching and see you next time. Take care. Bye.